Hello and welcome to the summer term. I hope you had a great Easter. And thank you, parents and teachers, and you, the most important Rigations, for pulling together at this difficult time. Can I share a few thoughts at the start of the term? Firstly, about the online learning. Well, thank you for embracing it and becoming experts so quickly. I know there are still some struggles as we all get used to virtual learning and the, and the online platforms. And we've been working hard all Easter as teachers. So you should see some changes and some improvements, I think, in the summer term, as there'll be a bit more live teaching. We'll be using your normal school timetables to give you more contact with teachers as they offer you advice, give you examples, respond to questions. Anyway, you'll get more information about that from your teachers and tutors over the coming days. Of course, we would never have wanted it to happen like this, but you are developing important skills, habits, um, disciplines for independent learning, and they will stand you in good stead in the future. Well, there's a few other things I'd like to say, if I can. Firstly, to remind you about the extracurricular ideas and opportunities that we're sending out. Do have a look at them. And the careers updates from Mr. Buzzacott. It might be good to do a, a virtual tour of a university or to look at future employment opportunities during this time that you're at home. And of course, the pastoral care is the most important thing and we're here for you. Let us know if we can help your tutors, your teachers, heads of year, Miss Arthur. We can put you in touch with a school nurse or a counsellor or one of our chaplains. Ask if we can help. We, we want to help. The doors might be locked, but our hearts are open. We do want to look after you if we possibly can. So let me talk about a couple of other things. The house roundup is always a highlight at this time of the year. So the 2019 to 2020 house competitions have come to an end. In the spring term, we had a start which saw Hodgson in fourth, Bird in third and Cranston and Williamson in joint first. And then we had the spring term competitions, netball, hockey, art, debating and chess. Well, congratulations to Bird for winning the house debating competition. And congratulations to Cranston on house chess. And then the house art competition where students were designing the ace cards that we'll use in the autumn term. Congratulations there to Bird who were first. And so then we move on to the netball and hockey with so many people taking part and a great team spirit. Well, when it came to netball, Cranston won the day, followed closely by Hodgson. And in hockey, it was Williamson finishing one point ahead of Cranston. And the overall standings, after a year of sporting and cultural and academic and artistic competitions, in fourth place, Hodgson, in joint second, Bird and Williamson. Congratulations to Cranston House, the overall winners. Well, as a school, we do still remain open and we're looking after key worker children and vulnerable children every day. There's a lot going on that the school is doing on your behalf, on our behalf. For instance, we've stripped all of the science labs, the DT workshops, the art rooms and the food, anywhere we can find visors or goggles or gloves or aprons and we've sent them off to support local NHS or other frontline workers. Our DT team have been in and they're making over a thousand visors from acetate to pass on. We've registered our minibuses to be used by the Rygate and Banstead Volunteers Distribution Hub. We have telephoned huge numbers of older and otherwise vulnerable members of the community, offering them sometimes just simple company and other times practical help, such as buying and delivering shopping for them. Your family are about to receive an invitation to see if you want to contribute to a food bank, a collection centre and distribution hub here at Rygate Grammar School. I know that there are huge numbers of staff and RGS families and even older students who have volunteered and are now working either through the formal NHS volunteer programme or informally in the community and no less valuably. Thank you to all of you who are doing that. And of course, many current RGS families and members of the wider Rigation community are working in frontline NHS or key worker roles. And we're very grateful to all of you for looking after us and keeping the country running. 
I give you those examples because I want you to know that as a school, even though our doors are mainly closed, we're carrying on trying to do what Rigations should do, live up to our values, make the world a better place if we possibly can. And in this hugely difficult time, I hope that your school, our school, that we're doing our bit. I know that this difficult time for everybody is also a very different time and it takes a lot of getting used to. Certainly, I can't get used to the school being so empty. I'm missing you. Your enthusiasm, your energy, your noise, your bustle, everything that goes on in a normal school day. I can't wait for you to be back and make Rygate Grammar School what it is, a fabulous place to live and learn. Well, until that time, know that we're thinking of you, your teachers, me, all of us. Stay healthy, have a great summer term. Thank you very much.